Morning, Morgan. Yeah, jobless claims rising to a calamitous 885,000 being reported this morning. It's the second weekly rise in a row and the fourth gain in the past five weeks. The deterioration of the job market arriving with a lag after the surge in COVID cases. Seven-day average, according to Johns Hopkins, now 247,000 daily cases. Claims had remained high, but trending down in October as the seven-day average of cases fell. But they began ticking back up in mid-November with the rise in cases. And now they've begun to rise in earnest. At 885,000, they're more than 170,000 above where they were at the lowest level of the pandemic. And they never really fell that low. Claims each week of the pandemic have been higher in every week since March, 20, March, since March 21st than they were during the worst week of the 2009 financial crisis. And unfortunately, it promises to get worse. Ian Shepardson from Pantheon forecasts that they are headed above the 1 million mark in a few weeks. Oxford Economics writing the labor market for now remains under a severe strain as COVID cases surge and restrictions on activity are put in place. Add to that school closures and the decision of customers simply not to engage in some types of, act some types of activity. They add to the economic woes beyond government-mandated lockdowns. In fact, the lousy jobless claims data follows the weak November payroll report. That was the weakest gain since May and before many governments had revived lockdown policy. Some economists now forecast overall job losses in December. But today's data show more workers now face the prospect of a jobless Christmas and unless new relief is passed by Congress, more unemployed workers are going to hit the New Year's without any jobless benefits. Mike, as you know, a lot of those benefits are expiring the week of uh, December 26th. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And, and pretty grim. It's uh, almost hard to remember that we were below 200,000 a week at the, uh, the best levels of, the, uh, of this labor expansion uh, that we had just last year, Steve. Thank right. you very much. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.